All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is uh, Trev here again with another uh, another video for um, converting numbers uh, between different number systems. Uh, last time I did, uh, if you haven't seen that video, you should probably watch that one first. How to convert uh, numbers from decimal to binary uh, using my method. Um, now, this video right here is going to be how to convert numbers to hexadecimal um, or or vice versa and back. And uh, the way that uh, that I do that. Uh, my method of doing that is basically to convert the numbers to binary first, and then once you have them in binary, you can convert them to uh, whatever whatever number system you want. If you want to convert them back to decimal, okay, cool. If you want to convert it to hexadecimal, that's really easy too, and I'll show you how easy that is. Or uh, like when I took uh, these kind of uh, stuff, I, I had to convert to uh, octal also, um, but uh, I don't think uh, that's used very much anymore. Most um, most teachers won't teach their students how to convert to octal because octal is really not not used hardly at all. But anyway, let's get right down to it. So um, what I'll do is start off with uh, with an example, uh, same as before, um, and uh, I'll just do um, first of all I'll write out my uh, two to the power chart. So right away, um, it's one of the things I always do. As soon as you get a test, it's a good idea to just uh, do this right away. Into the five, thirty-two, the six, sixty-four, the seven, twenty-eight, two fifty-six, and to the nine, five, twelve. Okay, there we go. So we got that first. Break it up. Get our columns right here. Very important to keep those right. Okay, now, so let's do an example. Uh, let's do a, a smaller number. For example, let's say we want to convert the number um, 21 to uh, from decimal to hexadecimal. Okay, so first what I do is I convert it to binary and then to hexadecimal. So there's, it's a two-step procedure. Put it in binary and then put it in hexadecimal. So 21, as I showed you the other day in my other video, very quick to do it using this method. So you look for the number that is uh, just less than it. So 32 is higher than it. 16 is the closest less than it. So we're gonna we're gonna use the 16. 21 minus 16. It's gonna give us five, obviously. And then uh, we're gonna go zero on the eight. We're gonna use a four. Subtract the four from that, just to show you. Have it with one, and then no on the two. Yes, on the one. So there we have 21 in binary. Uh, if you want to do, uh, if you want to see that more in detail, I did a couple videos on that earlier. You can check those out. Uh, how to do that? Now this is good. Once we have it in binary, it's very easy to put in hexadecimal. It's actually easier than you can possibly uh, possibly imagine. How you do it is basically um, you have a basically one byte. Okay, for a computer will be eight bits. Okay, so we've got five right here. So we can we can easily just represent that by by using this right here um, 0101 so there's our 8 bits right there uh, or one byte in computers uh, now we want to show that number um, or basically 21 which is which is this number here in binary in hexadecimal now the easiest way to do that is once you get in binary it's very very easy very very easy to convert to hexadecimal separate it up in groups of four and how it works is uh, basically four binary digits is one hexadecimal digit okay and uh, what you do what I do too just for another chart at the side here you can write this off okay and uh, it's good for reference and to do this right away and you know it's it's very uh, um, easy to uh, to do is write out the hexadecimal uh, equivalencies in our number system so just write out Nine. Okay, so you go zero to nine for our number system, and then for hexadecimal, uh, ten will become A, eleven will be B, twelve will be C, D, E, and F will be fifteen. And then what I do is we know what those are in uh, in decimal. You don't really need to write those out because you can tell that it goes you know zero through nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. But you know it would be helpful to have these just handy for binary, the binary like the binary equivalence of, of those numbers. Um, so what you do is is because as I said before they're represented by four digits, uh, write the binary equivalence for each of these hex values using four digits. So 0001, 0010, and what I'm doing here is I'm just adding 
each each one is it's increasing uh, the binary number by one. So it goes here, you know, it's to zero, add one. You add another one, well, this can't go to two because there's only, it's base two, there's only zeros or ones. So you got to go to one, zero, and then one, one, and then zero, one, zero, zero, and so on and so forth. So really quickly, I'll just do that for us to get us up to speed. Oh, that should be a one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, and one, 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 zero, and one, 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 finally. And a good way you can remember if this is right is just to check your last value. F should always be four ones. It should always be one, 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 which is the highest representation you can get using four, four bits. 0, 0 to all on. So all off to all on is the combination of every one. And in turn, that gives us 16 different combinations of digits. 0 through F will be 0 through 16. So now, this is really, really easy to do. Once you have this chart here, you just look back at your original number and you say, okay, so it's uh, basically, um, I'll just scratch this out so this doesn't confuse you. We have the number 21 and we have it written in binary here. Now we want to put it in hexadecimal. Just use the numbers, separate them up in groups of four, and look at your chart and just read them off. That's all you have to do. So 0001, as you can see, is equivalent to 1 in hexadecimal as well. So very simply, it's just 1. Now 0101 is going to be equal to 5. 0101, so it's 5. So the hexadecimal equivalent of 21 is 1, 5. Okay, so I'll show you all the all the basically the process. So you go 21 in binary is 10101, and then in hexadecimal is 15. Okay, and it's not 15. Okay, that's not 15. That's that would be 15 in our number system. In hexadecimal, that is 15. It's not 15. It's 1 and 5 because each 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 column has a combination of 16 values. Let's do the number 542. Okay, um, so once again, we'll start off just like we did before. Let's do real quick. Two fifty six five twelve. Okay, so just to convert this number, so we have this number in decimal now, and we want to convert it to, to binary first to use the method that I used before. So very simple. We'll use the five twelve, so that gives us the one there, and uh, five forty two minus five twelve will give us zero three zero give us thirty. So zero for two fifty six zero for one twenty eight zero for that uh, zero for that. We're going to use that, so that'll be sixteen. Minus 30, we'll give us 2, 1, and 4, 1, 14, all right? And then we'll use an 8, minus 8, so that'll leave us with 6, all right? And use the 4 and use the 2 and 0, and there we have it in binary. So the binary equivalent will be this number here. So one thing you, you should notice right away is when you group this in groups of 4, okay, This is going to be using three groups of four, so that means we're going to need three hexadecimal digits to represent this number. Okay, and then again here with the numbers on the side there, as I showed you before, we're just really going to quickly, we're going to read it off. So this number here, the first digit will be 1110, and that will be equivalent to E down here on my chart, right here. You can see it's uh, E right there, 1110. And then this will be equal to 1, and then the number 0010 will be equivalent to 2. So that in hexadecimal, 542, will be 21E in hexadecimal. And that's it. And uh, one thing I want to point out here is I added uh, leading zeros to this. And that doesn't change the number. You can add as many zeros to the front as you want. 